Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Kate and William have been named the world's most fashionable couple. And yes, Metro points out one of them is doing the heavy lifting here. Metro writes, Unsurprisingly, it wasn't William's staple jeans and hardy blue pullovers that sealed the deal. Instead, it seems Kate's red carpet gowns, penchant for pantsuits, and unwavering obsession with Zara has the world in a chokehold. Metro also adds, The title was bestowed upon the royal couple by fashion brand Karen Millen, which, checks notes, just so happens to be one of Kate's favourites. Karen Millen's team conducted an extensive analysis of more than 5 million social media posts that incorporated style-related hashtags on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Additionally, they delved into Google searches made by fashion enthusiasts. Their primary objective was to determine the most fashionable celebrity couple. The data was meticulously collected for each half of the couples, focusing on essential keywords such as style, outfit, and fashion. These data points were then averaged to assign interest scores to the couples, measured on a scale of 1 to 10. In this comprehensive analysis, Kate and William emerged as the undisputed leaders with a perfect score of 10 out of 10. But unsurprisingly, sorry William, Kate was the main reason for the win, with TikToks associated with her style amassing an average of 381 million views, Per hashtag. In fifth place were Prince Harry and Meghan, although Meghan was the most searched for female celebrity. She even attracted 104% more average searches than the Princess of Wales. Unfortunately for Meghan, the top 10 most fashionable celebrity couples ranked are Prince William and Kate, Hayley and Justin Bieber, Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Harry Styles and Taylor Russell, Gigi Hadid and Cole Bennett, Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet, Victoria and David Beckham, and Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. A Karen Millen spokesperson said, We know that many people look up to celebrities as style icons, and there's a lot of discourse at the minute around which celebrities look good together and which are oddly matched. But it just goes to show that some duos influence mainstream culture more than others, regardless of fans' opinions. Fashion fans may wish to identify the celebs whose style resonates with them for inspiration. If so, definitely follow them on social media to see which brands they recommend. Confidence is key too, so don't let a lack of celeb status put you off trying new things. Prince William will never tell people not to get on planes to help the environment. The Kensington Palace spokesman said, The Earthshot Prize is about finding innovative solutions that are going to help scale and change the future direction of the planet. And what he or the Earthshot Prize winner will never do is tell people not to get on planes and not to get in their cars. We're not looking back to the Ice Age. We're looking forward to the Green Age. It's really important that instead of focusing on prevention, we can actually focus on the opportunity. William will be in Singapore from November 5th to 8th. He will see the Rain Vortex, the world's tallest indoor waterfall, at Changi Airport. Later in the trip, he will partake in dragon boating. William will also attend a global summit of United for Wildlife, an umbrella group of charities working with law enforcement agencies and others to tackle the US $20 billion a year illegal trade in wildlife. The Express tells us Prince William has used his role as the Football Association president to persuade his favourite team, Aston Villa, and potentially dozens of other clubs to use environmentally friendly food packaging made from seaweed. In an effort to cut plastic pollution from selling burgers, hot dogs and other foods to fans at its Villa Park Stadium in Birmingham, the Premier League club has since the start of the season been using biodegradable packaging made by Notplay, a London-based company that won an Earthshot Prize last year. More Palace Intrigue in just a moment. Princess Kate and Prince William were due to have an ice rink in their back garden this Christmas as part of the event Ice at Kensington Palace. However, GB News reports that has now been cancelled. You may recall the ice rink. Peter Phillips, Princess Anne's son, had organised the magical winter event due to be built on a helipad in the grounds of Kensington Palace. The event has been cancelled to prioritise public safety during a period of heightened tension in the capital city. Kensington Palace is close to an Israeli embassy in London. The Standard took a look at Kate and William's attempts to transform the monarchy, even if Charles is the one who is king. The Standard points out, Earlier this month, it was revealed the royal couple has been shoring up their own show business credentials by hiring TV bigwig Dame Pippa Harris as director of their royal foundation. The appointment is being seen as a shrewd move in royal circles, with Dame Pippa known for being an expert at getting things done. 
and comes hot on the heels of reports that the future king and queen are also set to hire a CEO to head up their team in what's being hailed as a revolutionary move at the palace. Author Christopher Anderson said, It seems to me the title of CEO, obviously intended to make the monarchy sound more business efficient, is woefully misguided. People don't want to be reminded that the firm is exactly that, a multi-billion pound money-making enterprise. I'm sure William and Kate think they are helping Charles streamline the monarchy by creating this new post, but all they are really doing is adding another layer of bureaucracy and creating a recipe for even more backstabbing and intrigue in the palace. I think it is highly unlikely that Charles will embrace the CEO concept. He is very much a traditionalist when it comes to the way the house works and believes that the private secretary system has served past monarchs well. The Standard points out, eagle-eyed royal watchers have noticed that the Wales' social media feeds have been publishing increasingly slick videos of their work lately, such as the clips released around the King's coronation in May. These punchy video montages have racked up millions of views, likes and retweets, and the Prince and Princess have also increased their social media team to three people, including a new head of digital. In 2016, William told the BBC, that's the challenge for me. How do I make the royal family relevant in the next 20 years time? And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on your app of choice or head on over to YouTube, youtube youtube.com and and hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and Good Times. (laughs) 